yeah, hello to this uh, video. Welcome to this video. I think it's welcome to this video, right? Okay, so I'm playing Tacticus. Out for the reverse Grand Prix here. Yeah, why do people know stuff? That's no good. They all read those books and just reproduce stuff. Yeah. I have to admit, I do this as well. So, <laughs> yeah, okay, what he, what he played there is a pretty annoying line. And something that I have, <laughs> and I only know that this is probably good for white, but I don't, don't know how black should react. That reverse Grand Prix is, um, yeah, just one of my, <clears throat> sorry, <coughs> one of my, um, of the openings that I only play in Blitz games. I don't really trust it um, enough to play in, 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 in tournament chess. Yeah, so I lost some time here and my pawn structure might be, might be fishy. Yeah, I was thinking E3 is a move. Yeah, I'm going for that. It's pretty weird, but my idea is that if I go knight f2 next, I can go f4 even. This and then f4 because the knight has no squares. <clears throat> Isn't that an idea? Okay, but if I not move my knight, e3 is hanging with check. Hmm, okay. Hmm. Okay, I have to do that anyway. Look, F1, F4, G takes. And I have no square for my knight, that is not a check. Knight F5, okay, but that loses straight away. Look, G1. G5 traps his knight, but <laughs> uh, what a weird game. I don't see a, a good continuation here. Maybe I'm just I'm just worse. I mean, that, that's certainly okay, certainly possible. Mm. <laughs> F4 takes. I have F no square for that knight. Knight d5. This knight takes d5. That doesn't make any sense. Probably just losing for black. What I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is losing, but I've, I had no, I had no, I had nothing. I had nothing that I can do. It was kind of funny how that went. I can't even take on G6. Oh, what a bullshit game. <laughs> oh, wow. We can go D5. This is just terrible. Okay, D5, I might take the knight. Hmm. Okay. Well, Queen F2, I can maybe t nah. <laughs> take F4, but nah, not really. You can take on G6. 
going back there. <laughs> He, he wants to move the queen away and go e4, yeah? that would be nice. Yeah, or this one. Can I get that? It's, maybe I can somehow irritate him. It's not really great or anything, but... Maybe you can go C5 here. Um, out for knight F6. Hmm. No, I cannot uh, cannot prevent it anyway. So check. So. What to do this? Maybe here, queen d4, knight f5 is maybe something. Queen c4, bishop g2, knight e3 wins the exchange back. And then I'm what? <laughs> Still stuff down. I can also go to f2. Um, Mm, or there, hmm, okay. Hmm, okay, yeah, going back is no good. But it's tough to go forward. <laughs> okay. awful game again yeah this is one of those cases I mean I have three that was yeah it just doesn't work what can you do I mean I, I was thinking along these lines look here and then f4 and I move the knight and this has no squares but e3 hangs with check and this is of course the, the tactical reason why all this is not working and also the reason why my position is bad, because if I have to take, then white is just, of course, a lot better. Yeah, I don't know, maybe I have to discard that line for, even for blitz chess. Sometimes even decent players have no recipe against it and just uh, get into bad positions with white, but if they know what they're doing, white is just better. Or I need to, I don't know, study it for real and, for just um, some 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 blitz opening, let's say I really don't want to study it. But then you get this kind of awful games like that. Yeah, probably better to play some some real opening there and not some nonsense like the Grand Prix reversed. I mean, it's not completely terrible, but then you really have to know it and not just um, kind of go down whenever the opponent plays um, uh, a main theoretical line. Pretty awful game. Thanks for watching.